There's another place that God appears to have laid out his plan in advance, and that's in some subtleties, and one of which I'd like to share with you in Genesis chapter 5. In Genesis chapter 5, we have a genealogy. The genealogy in Genesis chapter 5 goes from Adam, the first man, down through Noah. And in Genesis chapter 5, if you wade through that, I encourage you to make a list of the names. Adam gives, uh, gave birth to Seth. Seth, Enosh. Enosh, Kenan. Kenan, Mahalal. Mahalal, Jared. Jared, Enoch. Enoch, Methuselah. Methuselah, Lamech. And Lamech was the father of Noah. Let's take these names. Ten names. But see, the problem is we need to know what the names mean. And if you have a study Bible or a source, a, a, a lexicon, what have you, you know that the name Adam means man. As you go through your Bible, when these names are typically first introduced, most of your marginal footnotes will tell you what the name means. Adam means man. Seth means appointed. Enosh means mortal. Kenan means sorrow. Mahalel means the blessed God. Jared means shall come down. Enoch means teaching. Methuselah means his death shall bring. Lamech means the despairing. And the word Noah means rest or comfort. Now, let's read that genealogy as a sentence. Man is appointed mortal sorrow. The blessed God shall come down teaching that his death shall bring the despairing comfort. Isn't that wild? 